Hey everybody, Mike here, October 12th, 2018. Thank God it's Friday. Yes, indeed, thank God it's Friday. Thanks to everybody that subscribed in the last, what, month and a half? Woo, been a long time. Um, thanks to all you subscribers, all you newbies. Thank you, I appreciate it very much. Don't forget, man, check out some old videos, man. Leave some comments if you wanna do that. I know it's been a long time since I've been on. Been dealing with the back issues. We'll talk about that when the food comes on. How about some shout outs to Mary Williams, Daniel Jones, Rach Burns, Angel Cotto, and Joy De Los Reyes. And it's because of her I'm doing the Filipino food hit number 10. Yes, indeed. Boom. Oh, that went off to the side. Woo! Today's food jam is Filipino food hit number 10. Boom! Can't wait to hit this. Thanks to Tony and Tess over at Casa Filipina, located at 3531 West Thunderbird Road here in Phoenix, Arizona. Special thanks to the two of you. Oh, what do we have with us today? Oh my God. I've tried this before at the other Filipino uh, food place where I used to get food from, but not from here. And I hear this is the best. Lechon kawali, little bit of pancit on the side with some rice and some dipping sauce. Oh my God, take a look at that. Take a look at that, looking so, so good. And also for dessert, oh my goodness, look at this. Ube cheesecake sitting off to the side. Oh, and I love cheesecake so much. Oh, I'm looking so forward to this. Oh my goodness, here we go. Let's dig into this. Hey, did anybody watch uh, UFC 229 to uh, to see uh, Nurma, uh, Nurma, <laughs> Nurmagomedov beat the living daylights out of McGregor? Did you see that? Oh, did you see it? Did you see it? After all he said, during the press conference, making fun of his family, his father, his religion, his country, just taking it to a whole nother level, Connor was, like an idiot. Uh, unbelievable, unbelievable fight. I'm kind of surprised Herb, all right? Herb Dean, my favorite ref in UFC. Come on, man, you're turning a blind eye, dude. That was crazy. Connor was throwing illegal elbows throwing illegal knees while they were down to the head, holding on to Habib's gloves to pr try to prevent getting banged on, that's for darn sure. And uh, what else? Oh, his toes anchoring on the fence. No warnings, no nothing. Couple of little no-nos here and there. Uh, Habib was even talking to Herb, telling him what's going on. No, we're just gonna let it go. You know what, this golden boy crap of Conor McGregor, it's time for him to go bye-bye. He needs to do what Ronda did and just go to the WWE. That's all he needs to do. This was crap. I may not have agreed what Habib did at the last of the fight, but I definitely understand it. And if you haven't watched the press conference, you need to go back and watch the press conference to just look at what kind of a jerk Conor McGregor was being. Let me get this wallet out of my pocket. Um, anyway, that's it. Mm, oh. Proper beating, proper 12 whiskey. I can't believe they brought whiskey out and that Dana was drinking with Connor. That was ridiculous. That should have never happened. Proper 12 whiskey. Nah, proper beating, son. That's what you got. Proper beating. I was so happy to see that boy get tapped out. Tapped out, just like Nate Diaz did to him. Oh, but this was done in so much of a worse way. Anyway, that's it. All right, let's get on to this food. Oh my God. Lechon Kowali. Remember the dipping sauce on the one from ages ago that I got from the other place? I didn't dip it. I actually put it on the rice and ate it with my rice because that's what I thought it was for. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my goodness. The meat, the fat, the skin, everything on this. Tell me this is gonna be, what is this? Nice and crunchy. Nice and crunchy. Let's give it a dip. And let's do it. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, my goodness.
That is unbelievable. Mmm. This is so much better than the other place. So much better than the other place. Oh, look at that. Oh, that meat, the fat, the skin. Mmm. Lots of chewing with the chunk of wally. Oh, I'm ready for this crunch. Oh my God. This is so wonderful. Somebody told me a long time ago on one of my videos, the last video of this, it was from the other place, man, you should really take off that fat. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that skim. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Never... Never, look at that. Oh. That looks so good. So good. The taste is unbelievable. Juicy and crunchy. So many textures in this. Oh. My God. Are you getting hungry? You can't help but make a lot of noise when you're eating this. <laughs> hey, they've been working on my back a lot still. That's why I've been gone for the past, what, month and a half, two months. Um, we're slowly but surely getting there. I'm in a lot less pain than I used to be in. And we've almost kind of balanced out a little bit. But uh, they're still working on it. I got a lot of scar tissue in my back. I still don't know what it's caused from. Oh. <laughs> but we're trying to loosen it all up. Get it rolling again. It's kind of like in the mid back. Right in the mid. My sciatic pain is completely gone now. So that's nice. I can sleep in a regular bed again. Instead of in the recliner. All right. Let me try these pancit noodles. Look at this. Carrots, chicken, onions in here, some celery. Mmm. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Mm. Let me grab a piece of that chicken right there. Oh, mm. 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 These carrots look like they're done just right. Not too soft, not too hard. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Oh my God. It's like, I don't even want to go to the rice, but I know I have to because what's Filipino food without the rice? I will take a little bit of that dipping sauce and put it right on that rice. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And you know how rice should be eaten with a spoon. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh, mm. oh, my God. So, so good. Hey, you know, I found out that I'm pretty, I make, I, for some reason, even though I'm taking allopurinol, uh, I'm talking about kidney stones now. 
I've been getting a lot of messages from people who are dropping stones with the Chanka Piedra tea, completely dropping them. And <laughs> everybody's wonderful. You got to pay that the restaurant a visit and get the Lechunka Wali. So good. Anyway, my body is still making stones, but the Chanka Pedra tea, when they get to a certain size, the tea loosens them up and throws them out. Check this out. Here's a little picture. This, uh, this was taken uh, when Mon uh, Monday and Tuesday. I dropped one Monday and dropped one Tuesday. And uh, yeah, so the Chanka Pedra tea still working. Gets them while they're nice and small. Passes them through with absolutely no pain, but those are dinky. Those are dinky little guys. Mm. 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 Oh my God. I'm gonna save some of this for later. Oh my God. Definitely save some of this for later. All right, here we go. Oh. Mm. I thought Tess was joking around when she brought the plate out. You have to bring the plate back. And I thought she was joking around. I thought she would put it like on a to-go plate, but she actually put it on one of her glass plates. So you know I'm going back. I had to take her one of my plates. <laughs> See what she says. This isn't my plate, dude. All right, one more bite of rice. Let me try it with some sauce. One more bite of rice. One more chunk of the chunk of And I'm gonna save the rest for later. <laughs> I can't tell you how good this is. I'm sorry if I'm making you hungry. Mmm. My goodness. Oh. Just simply wonderful. Just simply wonderful. Let's put that off to the side. Let's get some dessert in us. I better lay this down because I don't want it to stand. Oh, should I eat this with a spoon, I wonder? Or can I just, oh, it looks like I can just peel it back. All right, now this little cupcake holder. Let me get a side shot of this so you can see it sideways here. Oh, look at those colors. Look at those colors. Now let's take a bite and let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, all the cheese is purple. Nice. Oh, that crust at the bottom. What is that taste? I've tasted that before. I know that she's like usually made from graham crackers or something, but Oh, my God. That is unbelievable. Mm, mm, mm. It just melts in your mouth. Purple everywhere. I've seen Tony when he posts on his Instagram when they're making all the stuff with the purple food coloring. <laughs> And his fingernails are all purple on the tips. <laughs> Always cracks me up when I see that. Oh my God. But you know what? 
I was going to say goodbye, but I'm going to have just one more piece here. One more piece of the Lachun Kawali. I can't end with sweet with a sweet note in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> mm. This dipping sauce is unbelievable. That's how I want to end it. Oh my God. Tony, Tess, Casa Filipina. Thank you so much for that. So wonderful. Such a wonderful, oh my God. My Jameson's is done. My Jameson's is done. Yeah, I drink Jameson's, not proper 12. Not Conor McGregor's band of proper 12. Proper 12, proper beating, <laughs> proper beating, boom, 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 bang, bang. Oh, he took it. He took it so good. Cheers, everybody. Ah, so good, so good. Hey, next week, I hope, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video, but next week, please tune in. Remember when I reviewed the Pure Wave back massager, and I was using it on my back and all the different attachments. Well, Koo Geek, here we go, here's the little box they sent me. Koo Geek sent me a uh, little, excuse me, app controlled massager for the back. Well, actually for anywhere, for your muscles. Uh, they sent me one to review and to try out and that's what I'm going to do next week. So if you watch this video, please jump over to the next week and please watch this video. I want to try and get as many views as I can on this. I'm just going to give it an honest review. That's what I'm going to do. 100% um, honest review. If I love it, I love it. If I hate it, I hate it. Either way, I don't care. But they sent me this, a Koo Geek. Koo Geek smart massager. Um, I'll have all the links down below on next week's video where you can go find them and check them out and see what they're all about. That's it. Man, Filipino food hit number 10. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Thank you, Tony and Tess, once again. Once again, thank you so much for everything. Uh, bing, bing, bang. Get some sun. Get some exercise. Be healthy. And I'll see you when? Next time. Bye. appreciate it. Leave some videos or <laughs> that I'm doing the Filipino Filipino <laughs> oh.